What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Sailing Vindala. So we are here in Trondheim, it's a beautiful day today, it's actually beautiful day in number three. But the last two beautiful days I've been in severe shock about how beautiful it suddenly became and I've just been enjoying it on my own. I've been sitting in the sun all day and just soaking up that sunlight, getting that vitamin D after a long dark winter here in Trondheim. I'm just having a test for school. I'm nearly finished with it, so in about an hour or two, Per is coming over and he's gonna help me put up that cockpit tent. And finally we can get going with that project. I've been waiting for some help because it's kind of hard to do it on your own. I, I tried, it's impossible. It just fell over and yep, so I need help with that one. Thanks to Per for always showing up as usual. And uh, yeah, the weather is just fantastic. The cockpit tent is brand new, out of the box, never been used, never been mounted. I've just been waiting to put it up. It consists of two parts, the textile part and the uh, windows. You can take off the windows, so it will be really cool. It will also have a zip to the spray hood and uh, yeah, it, uh, it will be cool. So hopefully we'll be able to get it up right so it doesn't look weird. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Now I'm gonna finish the test and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Good morning! <laughs> While waiting for Pear I had a nice breakfast in the sun. I then prepared the tools we're gonna need for job. Tech 7, measuring tape, a drill, drill bits, tape, and the screws, and brackets. Minimalism. Now Per is here. <laughs> Per is here, in the house. <laughs> Measured and taped it. started drilling the holes which is uh, nerve-wracking but it has to be done so we fixed the main ones this one and this one so it's now standing and we have started outside and yeah so we use alcohol to clean uh, and tech 7 and drill these are actually really cool they go on the outside of the winches so that's that's pretty cool cool protection little feature yeah, so here is one, and then the next one is here, so just gotta do that all the way around, because these little rubber bands come around. Like that. So it's a bit hard to document, but it's starting to look really good. It doesn't look that good from this angle. <laughs> it looks pretty good in real life. Yeah, big nice windows. Alright, it's been uh, maybe 
five hours since we started and Pedro has gone home. Sunset is soon. It's not complete because they gave me the wrong type of brackets, which is pretty stupid. Let me show you. So I got these types. These types. Like little buttons. Like that one. So you just take this over, but that's the wrong angle. It's supposed to be here, not there. So I need to get more of these guys. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's it's awesome to have it. I mean, it's like a winter garden, except it's spring. <laughs> when I get it all stretched out, I'm sure it will be nice, nice. Yeah. So that's it for today. Peace. Good morning. It's a new day. So I'm sitting here in the cockpit tent. It's uh, up. It's. 99% done uh, mounting it. I wasn't super duper happy with it because the company that I bought it from they didn't give me the correct pieces to put it together. I've been sending some mails and calling. They're gonna send me the rest but I actually went to a store and I got the rest. What happened is I have to install all these little hinges everywhere and on some places like here I got hinges. I got this, this type but the angle is too stiff so they would just come off so I had to go and buy all of these guys and put them on so it was a bit daunting because uh, I had to drill all of these small holes in the boat and it's not really a super pleasant thing to do but most of it is outside so it doesn't go inside if there's a leak but also I, I sealed every hole with Tech 7 and I managed to drill very short holes, so we'll see. But most of them just go like, yeah, into here, which is outside. So I think that's fine. I can stand in here. Uh, I cannot use it while using the mainsail, but it's possible to put it together. And I will get a little bag to put it in. <laughs> So that's done, basically, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's my neighbor's tent, it's also same style. This one, you can't stand it, so happy with mine. possible to unzip all the way around and roll it up or take off the whole window both on the side and on the stern so it's quite handy when I want to go in and out just open and close on the inside so on the inside it looks quite good. Got this whole room now to hang out in. <laughs> Pretty awesome. When the weather is bad, can you sit here? And I have a table to put here, so that'd be really cool. All in all, happy to finally get that project out of the way and get that cockpit tent up. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of good use for it. I know it didn't turn out super duper tight. Well, it's pretty tight, but they take $600 or 6,000 kroners to do the job, so. In my current study situation, I just cannot afford to pay that. And I bought this in November. I thought I was going to use it in the winter, but I used the tarp instead because this got delivered too late. So, yeah. Now I got it and it's very functional and it looks awesome to a certain degree. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. A friend of mine invited me to come stay at his dock. It's uh, 50 nautical miles from here, out the fjord of Trondheim, on the coast. So that will probably be my test sail in about a week or so. So looking forward.
forward to that. All right, guys. So I just heard this horrible sound, like the water pump and a leak, and I knew where it came from. And uh, I opened up the water filter. And it's uh, leaking. If I turn on the water pump. Right So I've turned off the pump again and dripping. I think I'm gonna just remove it. The whole thing. It's not so easy with just one hand. You know, can someone explain me? Why is it a water filter here? Because this hose is cold water from the tank and it's going into the hot water tank. I'm coming out here and then going to the kitchen. So why on earth? Why do I don't get it? Why do you filter the water going into the hot water tank? What's the point of that? I don't get it. So if anyone knows why it's done like this, please let me know because I have no idea. For me it would make much more sense to have it under the sink, you know, here and connect it. So this filter is actually pretty new. I got it back in November, so that's just six months, six months old. But I think I just remove it. I don't need to have a filter before the hot water tank at all. I'll just remove this one and make this one go directly to this. down in the bilge and I have an automatic build pump now so okay let's give it a try cool so that was strange but just take out the filter and I think I'll keep it and maybe I'll buy a new housing or have a look at it. It's really strange. It's been working for six, seven months and suddenly it just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's done. So as you can see, it's no wonder it started leaking. <laughs> I think the housing is just old. Yeah, no wonder. I think I'm gonna take advantage of this little period of no rain and wind and uh, get the Genoa up. Yeah, so let's see. So right there my phone died, which I'm using to film the time-lapse, but we got the Genoa all up and rolled in and the lines all arranged. And with the full enclosure up and the rest of the maintenance and spring preparations done, the boat is almost ready to go sailing. It's a great feeling to get closer and closer to actually sailing. I want to thank you so much for watching this episode and please bear with me as it may be a little bit boring with all the repairs and maintenance but very soon I will go sailing and that's gonna be the real fun so stay put and stay tuned for the next episode please comment like and subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you soon